Hey Divine Ones, it's Latoya O'Keel. Welcome back to another video. So just speaking from the heart, just wanted to come on, pop on to another video and just speak from the heart, speak from my spirit, what I hear in the spirit right now. So many messages that the Lord has been downloading in my spirit. So many revelations that I've been hearing from the Holy Spirit. And one of those revelations I want to share with you on this video, I want to let you know that what you have been praying for, that it's about to show up. It's showing up, baby. It's show, You know what? It's showing up right now as we speak. Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember, but God just brought it to my, to my memory, to my spirit. Some months ago, it might have been a year or so ago, I did a video called Face to Face. Face to Face. That's what I hear God saying right now. He says, face to face, baby. Listen to me. You about to get ready to come face to face with what you've been praying for. It is so important that you renew your mind. It is so important that you clean out your heart, that you clean out your spirit, that you pray and ask God to create in you a clean heart and renew the right spirit within you, just like the scripture says. Because if you do not, let me tell y'all something. Praying for it is one thing, okay? Visualizing it is one thing. Thinking about it is one thing. But it's a whole nother thing to be laying your hands on this stuff. It's a whole nother, it's a whole nother thing to be face to face with what you prayed and asked God for. And if you do not, oh, I feel the power of God. If you do not renew your mind, this could scare you to death. It could literally, <laughs> listen, baby, I ain't going to say literally, I'll say spiritually. It could spiritually scare you to death because it, you're going to be just like how it was with the children of Israel. They had talked about this land. God had promised them this land. They were so excited. They was, they was ready to be delivered from under Pharaoh's rule. They was ready to be delivered from bondage. They was ready to get up out of Egypt. They was ready to receive everything that God had for them. They had been praying. They had been crying out. And so finally, here they come. God has brought them face to face with what they prayed for. He has sent Moses. Moses has come and led them from under the captivity, from under the bondage of Pharaoh. God has worked numerous miracles for these people. He has parted the Red Sea. He has brought water from the rock. He has dropped bread, manna from heaven and fed them. He has kept their sandals up, baby, from wearing out in the desert. He done kept their clothes fresh from wearing out in the desert. God done pulled all his miracles out of his stash for these people. And he brings them in front of what they prayed for. He brings them in front of the promise that he has for them. And what do they do? They back up. They back up. They see giants in the land and the giants scare them. They see, they don't see the opportunity to, to seize what God has promised them, but instead they see the obstacles. You know why that is, baby? It's because of their mindset. It's because they did not renew their minds. They did not renew their hearts. They did not allow God to create within them that clean heart and that clean spirit that God wanted to give them because God knew that with the mindset that they had in Egypt, that they could not receive the blessing of the promised land. He says, unless you renew your mind, you will not be able to receive the promise. You will not be able to receive the blessing of the promises of God and you will not be able to embrace it. Because when the Lord brings you in front of what he has for you, he don't want you to run the other way. He don't want you to belittle yourself. He don't want you to sabotage it. He don't want you to talk yourself out of it. But the Lord wants you to receive what he has for you and he wants you to embrace it because it is his good pleasure to bless you. It is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom of God, baby. It is his good pleasure to bring you into the land that he has promised you. But you got to renew your mindset. The Lord says that you're getting ready to come face to face with what you've been asking him for. And it's going to show. What you've been doing with your mind is going to show. When you're standing in front of this, see, like I said, it's one thing to be thinking about it and praying about it. But it's another thing to be walking up in it. It's another thing for it to be looking in its face and for it to be looking back at you. So the Lord says that if it has not shown up yet, he says, take this precious time to prepare Take this precious time to, to develop structure, to have order, to have discipline, to get yourself in order, to get your house in order so that you can receive and embrace everything that the Lord has for you. Let me tell you something, baby. Your prayers are showing up. 
That's what I hear God saying. They are showing up, but he says they will not look like, listen to this, they will not look like, y'all excuse the, the, the weather, it's thundering real bad where I am, but listen to what God is saying, baby. He says the prayers are showing up, but they will not look like what you thought they was going to look like. It's going to look totally different from what you thought it was going to look like. And the reason why it's going to look totally different from what you thought it was going to look like is because you're going to be totally different. You're going to see things totally different. You're going to become a whole nother person in the process as God prepares you and gets you ready for what you prayed for. Okay? Because I'm telling you, it's one thing to be outside of the promised land and to be thinking about it and praying about it. But it's another thing to be looking it in the face and for it to be looking back at you. And the Lord says, if you don't renew your mind, you're going to be just like it was with the children of Israel. Instead of you seeing the blessing and the opportunity, you will only see the giants. You will only see the obstacles. You will see everything that's preventing you from getting the land instead of having the confidence and the boldness of the Holy Spirit to possess the land. Okay. So God says, I want you to be able to possess what I have for you because this is your inheritance, baby. It has been yours since the foundation of the world before the foundation of the world it was yours so i wanted to make this video to let you know that your prayers are showing up but they will not look like what you thought they was going to look like if it's a particular person this person may not look like what you thought they were going to look like if it's a particular place this place may not look like what you thought it was going to look like an experience it may not feel like what you thought it was going to feel like because when you prayed that prayer and you had that vision in the beginning that was a lower season of your life. You had a lower mindset then. But through the process, through God taking you through the wilderness, see the wilderness, the purpose of the wilderness is to transform your mind, to get that stinking thinking out of your head, to get that low way of thinking out of your head so that you can think higher, so that you can receive the blessings and the abundance of God. So God says what you thought it was going to be with that low way of thinking, God says, I'm going to elevate your mind. I'm going to I'm going to grow you up in the spirit. I'm going to mature you in the spirit as I take you through the wilderness, as I take you through the process. I'm going to mature you in the spirit. And the Lord says that when you look at it, you're going to be looking at it through a whole new set of eyes. For the scripture declares that any man that is in Christ, he is a new creature, baby. All things are passed away. And it says, behold, all things become new. The Lord says you are becoming new. Throughout this whole process, you are becoming new. I wanted to let you know that your prayers are showing up, but they will not look like what you thought they were going to look like. You must renew your mind. You must allow the Lord to transform you and to transform your heart and your mindset so that you can receive the promise of God and that you can embrace the promises of God. Okay. I love you so much. I am Latoya O'Kill. I pray that this message blesses you today and I'll check in with y'all later.